Hello there guys, there is a new LDS deployment script that uh, you requested me to upgrade since uh, 2017 I think, so we have a new one, 2019, which works with Raspberry 2, uh, 3, 4 if you like, um, was tested on the Raspbian uh, Buster um, that was released in September. Um, I've created the script um, like 2-3 weeks ago, I've tested for a while. Everything seems to be working, so if you want to have um, the services deployed automatically by the script, just simply um, load um, the Raspbian system on the SD card, um, then uh, just go to the website, which I'm going to put the link uh, below the video. Uh, go to the section over here, of course, if you have SSH already enabled. Um, run the command um, to download it, then basically change the permissions so it's executable um, as it shows in here and then just launch the script. Uh, the script's supposed to go through all of that and as and as a fact you should basically have all of these services running and ready. Um, so what you get, you're gonna get uh, sonar, you're gonna get radar, you're gonna get leader. Um, so that's uh, it's for your, your sitcoms, your movies, your music. Um, all of that works with Jacket, uh, with conjunction to Deluge as a Tolent client, client and NZP-GET, which is a client for the news groups. I'm not going to show how to configure all of that. There is uh, lots of movies um, around the YouTube that you can actually uh, refer into and uh, find out how this needs to be configured. Or just take a look on my previous video from two years ago, so there's a little bit about that. Now I'm going to show you how to deploy the script. I've already put a completely new, fresh installation of uh, Raspbian into my Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is booted. I know it's its IP address. Um, you can do that um, on the Raspberry Pi itself when you have it connected to your monitor, or you can do it the way I do it. So the Raspberry Pi is sitting somewhere in the network, and I'm just going to connect to it um, using PuTTY. Uh, so I know it's that's the IP address there. Um, we're just going to log in to Putty um, using the standard credentials, which is Pi, and the password is uh, Raspberry. And there we go. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger uh, so you can see this better. Um, Where are I going to? All oh, right, there we go. So let's go bold 14. Um, and let's see that. Yeah, that's much better. So there we go. Um, we are on the terminal and we connected to a Pi. So what are we going to do? Simply, we have to um, elevate our credentials. So sudo. Uh, there we go. Um, and now we're going to download the script. So, as I said before, just simply go to a website, copy that, um, paste it here, and then we should get this on our Raspberry. Um, so, there we go. There is a LDS uh, deploy uh, version 3 already there. So, we're going to change um, the script so it's executable. Um, LDS, there we go. So now we have the permission to execute it. So simply dot forward slash LDS. And there we go. It's going to take a while. So be patient. Um, usually when I've tested that script, it actually run on the Raspberry Pi for about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, so it's a quite a long time, but it's much uh, quicker than the last time. And the last time was doing that for 30 minutes. Some of you um, also asked me to incorporate um, VPN to this uh, build, but I did not do it uh, for a very simple reason. Deploying uh, OpenVPN, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you have just two commands to install it. What is more difficult is to get it configured properly with your VPN provider. Um, there's probably no point using the free VPNs uh, because, well, whatever, free. 
uh, is not going to allow you to torrent, as far as I know. Um, so I, there's no point for me to including VPN application there um, as a open VPN and then not explaining how to configure it because well having it installed doesn't mean anything um, it has to work with your VPN provider um, so uh, what else I should tell you that, that as I said this script is going to run for a while um, if you're going to have any errors um, they're going to be uh, file created um, which script gonna prompt you into so you can you know cut it and, and have a look for more details there or if that's gonna happen uh, you know in the future for whatever reason uh, always look for that file and if you're gonna comment on the video then just basically copy that uh, output from that file because um, by saying that the script didn't finish or whatever happened it's it's not gonna make any uh, attempt you know for anyone to actually help you because um, there is no details in this um, the only file that the file gonna provide a little bit more that we can actually find out uh, why the service doesn't start why it, uh, download doesn't happen so for whatever reason um, so now I'm just gonna uh, go quiet and we're gonna wait for the script to finish so I'm gonna speed up the video and hopefully we have a happy effect at the very end And we are done. So basically, let's take a look if all the services are started, as they say they do. So let's go with that one first. And we're gonna paste that over there. It, it might take some while for this to start because the services are just started, so everything takes a while. But well, this one works. And let's try it another one. paste it to the another window it's also working another one also started so I'm gonna check every one of them just to show you that it's actually working I'm not gonna log on. And NZB get as the last one. Perfect. Um, some of you have asked me uh, if I can share the script, the script so they can actually see. Uh, what commands actually we are running in the background so it's nothing simple than just copying that piece and you know pasting in to here oh, I can copy it let's go back copy and let's place it there so it just goes to a Dropbox and that's all what we've done running the script so if you wonder why um, it failed and which place it failed, you can basically go ahead and through that text file in here or and then, then just find out um, what was the previous command, what happened. Uh, it's going to give you a little bit more overview here. Um, I found out um, at some point um, that Jacket seems to be um, a problem um, not all the times but sometimes let's say after a day of uh, Raspberry Pi running um, entire system the jacket will stop responding um, and what I usually do I just basically go ahead to SSH and uh, um, you know 
I can list all the files that we download and whatever we have. And there is a jacket folder uh, which contains all the um, all the um, binaries and you know all the files that are necessary for jacket to run. So I simply I delete everything you know all of that and then i just unzip this again and when i do it once it actually runs forever and never actually uh, has any problem with it but it happens from time to time so just a heads up if you're gonna find out that one day jacket is just not responding um, you can try to you know find out if the service is running so simply um, system ctl um, uh, status jacket, I think, and you know, that basically, that's going to tell you that the server is active for you know, for how long, and so on. If it's not active and you cannot actually get to it, then basically, um, the server is not running, um, but you will have to just find it, find it why. Yeah, so you can basically you know, stop the service if you like and then if you're gonna check it of course it's gonna be dead and when that's gonna happen if you're gonna you know try to get to jacket it's just not gonna work at all so we're gonna start it again and then we're gonna check the status it's gonna take a while couple of seconds probably it's gonna run load all the components that it needs to um, so starting uh, HTTP client so we're almost there I'm pretty sure it should be responsive now um, is it not yet Okay, there we go. It, it started on the port that we are requesting here. It's a Raspberry Pi. It, it everything everything takes a while, but yeah, there we go. Um, it's working. So that's how you you know start and stop the service if you if you don't know. Um, and I would say that's it. So hopefully you will gonna get everything as I did and everything will be just working beautifully for a very long time so if you like the video um, just you know put the thumbs up and uh, thank you so much for watching good luck take care